voting. You can do that by registering the vote. You can do that by encouraging other persons to take that uh, right that we've won and make sure that we exercise that right to vote. It's only by getting on the registra uh, registration vote that we can begin being called and as jurors. Finally, let us also point out that we do not hold any animosity towards the jurors who made the decision, although it was wrong. Otherwise, we would not be here. What we do hope is that future jurors will search their hearts and conscience and not look at the color of the person, but look at the facts, and look at the facts in a just manner and rule themselves accordingly. Thank you. Thank you. Street and Pennsylvania Avenue uh, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20503. <clears throat> Dear Mrs. Davis, my purpose for writing this letter is to officially request the U.S. Justice Department to immediately investigate the racially motivated murder of my daughter, Amaryllis, Amaryllis Denise Swanigan. Amaryllis was 14 years old uh, of age at the time of her death. On the night of March 17, 1990, she was shot in the back with a shotgun fired by Deveron Anderson, a 27-year-old white man uh, who angrily chased uh, Amaryllis and her friends for a reasonable distance before firing the fatal shot. Charges were filed against uh, Anderson, including first-degree murder, and on Friday, October 5, 1990, an all-white jury acquitted uh, him of all charges. The jury deliberated for only two and one-half days. There were informal reports of irregularities during the trial, uh, such as non-official persons visiting the room, uh, the deliberating room, and the jury having been selected in one day was all white, although American, African Americans were available to serve. The Tacoma African American, African American community is outraged as a, as a result of my daughter's murder and the verdict rendered by the jury. I feel very strongly that my daughter's civil rights were uh, violated and justice was not served in this case. Therefore, I am seeking intervention on the part of the U.S. Department of Justice. I feel confident that your swift action and divisive move to investigate the circumstances surrounding my daughter's murder will serve as the beginning of whatever is required to ensure the civil rights of other African Americans in the Tacoma area will not be violated in the future. If uh, further clarification and additional information is, is required concerning what I have described herein, Feel, feel, please feel free to contact me. And she gives her number. I think this is a very emotional letter, and uh, we feel sure that the uh, criminal, uh, the Justice Department will answer this letter post case. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Easton. We have a statement from the Tacoma Ministers Alliance uh, from the uh, black collectors. And open to all of us. Otherwise, the next such innocent verdict headline might read, White man found not guilty of killing your son, daughter, or your mother, or father by an all-white jury. That's right. That's right. That's right. Another thing we can do is recognize that when we do not register to vote, we simultaneously register not to serve as jurors, and we hereby allow all white jurors and politicians to make critical decisions about our future. Still another avenue available to us for combating racism, recommitting ourselves to gain, to again fighting the battles we fought, we had won before the Reagan Revolution. In a nutshell, we must become active in the black churches, urban league, etc. It is too late for us to protect Denise Swanigan's interests, but perhaps what she has given us is an opportunity to stop pointing fingers, an opportunity to come together again to continue the 1960s revolution of making not just us, truly justice for all. A final tribute to Denise Swanigan. Please join the, NAA, the NAACP, the Tacoma Urban League, the Tacoma Ministerial Alliance, the Tacoma Black Collective, and other organizations in protesting racism in Tacoma and County. And may I say, the prophet uh, uh, Micah said, what does the Lord require thee but to do justice and walk on it? Uh, he also said, like, let justice run down like a mighty stream. And we are here today.
to protest what has taken place in our city. That's right. Uh, the, the judicial system needs to be changed. Yes. Right and it's time that we right. should come together as a people as we now feel yes. with our young people. Right. So we must come together, stand together, and walk together, yes. Yes. and not be there. Yeah, right, right. Yes. We also, we also have with us the Bishop of the Washington Jurisdiction of the Churches of God in Christ. Bishop Westbrook, would you have remarks at this time? Thank you, Dr. Bowles. I stand shoulder to shoulder with these that have expressed their disenchantment in regards to the recent trial and the injustices as we see in the verdict. Ever since creation, God, our Father, provided laws to govern his creation, including the human family. Yes. Amen. He's called upon mankind in every era to do justly and fairly by his fellow man. That was a time that was so deplorable and when justice was so exploited that he called upon his servant Amos and spoke to the judiciary system to prick their conscience by saying, let judgment run down like waters yes. Yes. and righteousness as a mighty stream. Yes. God, our Father of the one blood, created all men. Yes. And the only way that we can remain on this planet in peace is to do justice by each other. Yes. We're calling upon the judi judi judi